r slash ask reddit by ready reddit. Men of reddit, when have you experienced sexism? I had a random day off work and decided to check out a museum in my city. That day just happened to be the same day a grade school class field trip. I was er alone minding my own business when I heard one of the teachers tell another to keep an eye on the guy by himself. Eventually another teacher told me I needed to leave this museum that was very much open to the public because there were kids around and the teachers didn't feel comfortable. I would have talked to the person who ran the museum or the school itself. That's not only sexist, but discrimination due to you have a trouser snake. Can you still call and report them? Now this happened about 10 years ago. I know I could have stayed and put up a fight, but I didn't want to cause a scene. If it happened today I definitely would have said something. The one that peed me off the most was, when my daughter was 14 she was having problems with her mother, and it was decided that she would come live with me. I lived in another state. I got her moved in and went to enroll her in school. I had the unenrollment papers from her old school that were signed by her mother. I also had her birth certificate, social security card, and immunization records. The new school wouldn't allow me to enroll her until my ex-wife sent a notarized letter stating that I hadn't kidnapped my daughter and that she was allowed to live with me. I was ducking annoyed at the double standard. They tried to tell me it was standard procedure for single parents. A single mother that overheard called bullcrap saying they never required her to do that. They tried to tell me it was standard procedure for single parents. A single mother that overheard called bullcrap saying they never required her to do that. Good on her for doing that. Hope they apologize to you. I got a half apology from the principal. She was backing the office women that stated I needed the letter but wouldn't show me where this particular rule was written. I got her enrolled without the letter but it took threats of going to the school district with a lawyer. They must have made a note in her file because any time I needed to talk to someone at the school after that, everything was handled quickly and without hassle. I know that I'm far from alone in this, but I've gotten it at public places. I'm an involved dad. When my oldest daughter was young, I would take her to ballet class. While we waited for her class, I'd grab a storybook, she'd sit in my lap, and I would read. I'm an expressive reader, kids love it, and I would invariably have multiple little girls hanging around me, trying to get up into my lap, so they could see, and I would just cringe from the looks around the room. Even when I was actively discouraging it, honey I'm not your dad, I don't think your mom wants you to sit with me. Eventually, the moms got to know me and decided I was okay, but it was not comfortable for a while. At the park, I push my kids on the swings, I chase them around, etc. Other kids tend to want to join in. I have to be super careful, else I'll get everything from the stink eye to rude comments. And of course, the condescending comments are the best no, lady, I'm not a weekend dad, I'm not giving their poor mother a break. I'm here 24-7, 365 days a year, I spend time with my kids every day, I look forward to sharing moments. Bite me. My husband has built up an earth arsenal and likes to play with our son outside when it's nice. Mostly the parents know it's fine, but occasionally a neighborhood kid we don't know well will join and his parents will flip the duck out. I have to be on standby to explain that we live in this complex and my husband isn't a pedo. Never had a little girl join in. I once had to calm a mother literally screaming at him in front of 10 kids about how he needs to stay away from the children and he's a creep because he hugged a little girl who was actually a long haired boy and our son. I hope that lady apologized. That would put me in a sad mood for the rest of the day. She did not. I feel bad for her boys because she turned out to just be mean in general and it was for sure starting to influence them. Not a good neighbor, but absolutely not a good role model. I took my dog to an agility class once. I was the only male there and younger by 20 plus years than most of the women there. The woman running the class singled me out many times saying that I was inherently worse at training my dog because males lack patience. She also criticized me throughout the class because my command voice sounded angry and I was only allowed to offer praise to my dog. She said men often don't get this concept. I decided my dog didn't like agility training, we just play frisbee instead. Once had an ex bite me super hard and wouldn't let go because she was mad. 
I had never been in so much pain in my entire life. I couldn't get her off of me, so I resorted to punching her, so she would let go. Next day, she had a black eye. And yeah you guessed it, she took about 80 selfies and posted them all social media saying I abuse her. I lost track of how many threats I received as it was all over Instagram slash Facebook. Luckily, my close friends believed me since they knew she was a crazy witch. I still have the bite scar on my neck to this day. This wasn't the first time she abused me. It just happened to be the last. Edit. Thanks for all the replies. I pretty much just deleted all my social media after this so avoid further threats and words thrown at me. There wasn't much I can do to stop the train. So I just avoided social events for a while. It really did suck though. Should have replied to the threats with the bite marks on your neck. It's quite impossible to bite yourself on the neck, especially not hard enough to scar. <laughs> Accused, while in the military, of rape, sexual assault and unnatural acts. Went on date with girl, slept with girl three times in a week, always consensual, twice initiated by her. Girl liked my friend. Told my friend I raped her, while she was drunk. Stripped of billet, status, position, and honor for months. Only after the highest level interrogation by insist before the article 32, lasting hours, and after I used my article 31b rights, did she finally admit to lying. She received no punishment, and continued to serve, until she did the exact same thing to someone else later. Guy went to court martial, found innocent. She received no punishment. She went on a downward spiral, and got out on medical discharge. She now has a substantial medical pension. My life was almost ruined. I'm a dad. One day I took my wife to the waxing place to get pampered at her request. So I took my daughter age 3 at the time to go play at a local park. As she was so small and there were so many older kids around I opted to follow along with her and join in her little games. We wandered around the playground and I helped her when she needed me and otherwise let her have a good time. The entire time I'm getting dirty looks from parents and people audibly making crude comments. Then comes the text from my wife that she's all done and it's time to pick her up. This is where crap goes down. Now I don't wear a wedding ring as I do a lot of manual tasks that could otherwise get caught up on a ring. So I tell my daughter that it's time to leave. So like any 3 year old that's been told to stop having fun, she looses her crap. I tell her it's time to go get mommy, and she's still crying and screaming. I don't want to go, don't make me leave, she yells such, that everyone can hear. She's tugging at my hand, that is now around her is tugging her along as she throws a fit. Meanwhile everyone who was staring at me, before is now on alert, and is eyeing me like a mob ready to kill. One guy starts walking toward us, like he's going to kick my butt. The entire group of adults look at me heads following my movements like some robotic zombie monsters. I tell her honey we have to go pick up mommy. And she finally yells, but daddy I don't want to leave. All I can think is, thank god she said daddy. Suddenly the guy stops, and all the heads simultaneously turn back to what they were doing like the monsters can't sense me anymore. The zombies suddenly lose interest. My heart was racing thinking I was going to be mobbed. Finally I tell her we can come back after we pick mommy up. Only then does she calm down and walk with me. I guess you can't be a dad out with your kid. You have to be a pedophile. If it was my wife, no one would have so much as looked up. I know because on the return trip she had a fit again, but it was my wife this time tugging her along. They were invisible to the surrounding parents. TL, DR, almost got mobbed at the park because my kid had a fit and they thought I was kidnapping her. <laughs> About 10 years ago I was working as a sales manager for a large research firm. My division was sold to another company and a female VP from that company was put in charge of my division. My team was made up of 5 men and 2 women. Of the 5 men, 3 of them were top performing sales people. They were animals and crushed their numbers. Slowly over time the VP found reasons to harass and eventually fire all three and transfer their books of business to females working on another team in her office. She eventually go rid of one more guy on my team and at that point I called her out on it. Of course, I was laid off a few months later. There was absolutely zero reason those guys should have lost their jobs. They weren't just hitting quota, they were coming in at 130-150% of goal every year. 
It became quite obvious to everyone in the company that she just favored females in sales. About a year after all that happened a bunch of HR complaints finally caught up with her and she ended up fired. I'm surprised it didn't catch up with her more quickly if she was ducking over sales results. Thank you for watching Ready Reddit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more r slash videos. Share your stories in the comment section below.